Today I'm going to do uh, another pH test on my water and just do a quick update. I put some strawberries in here that are, a couple of them are doing good, a couple of them maybe not so good, but all the tomatoes are, have a ton of growth. The green onions have really sprouted up. The uh, lettuce seedlings are alive, but they're not really taking off. Um, the lettuce chunks I took out of the fridge, they're getting some height out of them. I had a grasshopper come in here last night and I caught him and he chewed those two leaves off. Instead of eating a leaf, he just bit them off at the stem, which I have no idea why. Um, and here's the lettuces in here, so they've, you know, they've gotten bigger. Anyway, so I'm going to do a quick pH test. I've got a couple different of the chemical ones and this is the one you use for like a pool. Seems like it's um, pretty easy to do. You just kind of dip stick the strip and then match it up to the colors and they give you basically three checks. The, the top is uh, chlorine, middle's alkalinity, and uh, pH is the bottom. And so our water comes out of the tap here at 8.4. So we're still pretty close to that, but you can't really see it on the camera, but I've dropped. So I did put some pH down in a couple days ago. My alkalinity has stayed up in that 180 range. We'd like to try and get it down to that 120. And the pH, yeah, I mean, we're probably 8-ish. You know, so it's come down a little bit by adding that pH downer to it. So, anyways, there's a pH test, and the system's doing good. The water's still crystal clear. I fed the fish, and they've kind of pushed all their food over into that back corner. But... Thanks for watching.